Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie Elaine. In today's video, I'm just going to do a first response video to the new Pantene Gold series. And this is a product that you can find on the natural hair websites. And this one actually is geared toward people who are relaxed as well. So I figured why not give it a go. So I did do the shampoo, the conditioner, and the styling pudding. So you will see me actually get in there and wash this hair. So, the first thing I did do was I did a pre-putting on my hair with my Silk Elements Conditioner and I let that sit on my hair for around 30 minutes just to loosen up and detangle my hair before I actually applied any shampoo, conditioner, anything like that. I love to make sure my hair is detangled. And as you can see, it's the new Pantene. They changed it up because the other one was a brown bottle and this one of course is the gold one. So I love it because this one has no edit products to it. It's pretty much just natural. So I am excited to try it out. I was reading all these good things about it. So let's get in there and get this hair getting clean. you guys this bottle was a killer to get open I mean it literally took me five minutes to get it open I, I don't like this bottle I mean yes thank you for putting it in a nice pump but I don't like it it did not want to cooperate for me and I've got all excited because look I get a little bit but I, I, I didn't like it
Hey everybody, so I'm back and I just washed my hair and yeah, I am filming it. Oh, I didn't finish what rinsing it. Give me a sec. Missed a spot. As good as it's gonna get. But yeah, so I just got done using the new Pantene Gold Series. This one is actually geared toward pretty much anyone that's natural, actually anybody, cause yeah. So I saw some advertisements for it on some natural hair sites. So I was like, let me try it. Let me see. And um, if it's pretty good. And the, the cute thing on the back says is it's probably recommended painting gold series. My black is beautiful. So. So yeah, and so I used the shampoo first, and I'm not gonna lie, it felt like my hair was dry when I got done with it. So um, I didn't feel like it was soft, but it did. So yeah, I didn't feel like it was like like greatly soft. But then I went in with the Moisture Boost Conditioner. I felt like it was a little thin. I like my conditioners a little thicky thick, and um, I didn't feel like it was as thick as I would love it to be, but it did leave my hair pretty soft. And what is my edges doing? But yeah, I thought it was pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in with the um, curling defying putty, but first I'm actually gonna moisturize my hair because that stuff I did miss. And I'm actually just gonna go in with, I'm actually looking for it. I can't find it, but I'll just go in with this one. I'm gonna go in with my Fantasia Pure Silk Gel Activator. This is a moisturizer. It's not anything like no curling mousse, nothing like that. It's just um, something to leave my hair feeling all silky good and smooth. So I'm just gonna apply that. I'm not gonna apply a lot. I apply a lot to the back just because it feels like that's where my dry is at, is the back and in the middle. So a little bit does go a long way with this stuff. So don't ever feel like you have to do a lot. And so I guess I am about what seven months post, maybe six months post text locks. And yeah. So my roots are I don't even know where my natural hair and the text last growth is to be honest because I just can't tell maybe it's like that much maybe it's like right in here I can tell right here though so yeah I can tell it's like this much is the growth so yeah I can tell right there and this background in my hair is not working but I'm gonna keep it up for now, but you can't see my hair. Hopefully you guys can see my hair because it's so black. Oh, I didn't think about that when I first started doing it. But yeah, I'm gonna, I don't feel like switching it back out. So hopefully you guys can see my hair. I'm gonna try to keep moving upwards and whatnot and placing my hair like this because it is a dark background. I apologize you guys it was really cute when I bought it and I was like oh my god lips and you guys know how much I love lips and my bad so yeah now I'm going with the panting putty and oh son of a so it's more like a it's kind of I don't want to tell you the thoughts I have about it. It doesn't feel like a putty. Well, pudding. It feels like it doesn't feel like pudding. So I don't even really know how much to really use. So I'm just gonna take this part and see how I feel about it. Whatever. Because I am not going to leave my hair down because that's just not realistic for me 
right now just because it's winter time and I'm about to go outside so I don't want a lot of my hair down so I'm just going to twist this I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna run it through my hair and not I was keeping my hair down. This I think will actually be pretty cute. Okay, let me try to zoom out a little bit. That in out. Okay. So this is actually not that bad. So if I was wearing my hair down, this would actually get pretty good de definition in my hair. So it would actually make me feel like I was really doing a wash and go on this one. And just have my hair, you know, down. So, and actually, yeah, I would feel okay. But I'm not keeping my hair down. So, we are actually gonna go in with some jam and we're gonna brush it up I know I know all this work to brush it up I know so we're just gonna take this on the edges and actually I should have went in with some eco styler but that's all in my bathroom I don't feel like oh, everyone's calling me today I'm gonna let it ring. I should actually suit this piece over. <sighs> Sorry, they're calling. It's like every time I sit down, but some people want to call me. That's when I get the most calls. That's when I get the most hey. What are you doing? And that's why I'm always talking through my videos. Well, that's why you always see my, my mouth moving on videos because everybody calls me.
So I am done with my hair and I let it dry a little bit and as you can see it gives some pretty good definition in my hair. I'm not complaining at all. I'm actually liking the um this curl defining um oh my god pudding. I am tired. I am actually loving this Pudding is actually really good and this is a part of the gold series as well and it does say it defines curls and reduces frizz with lightweight hold and this is for dry and frizzy curls and this is sulfate free, dye free, this actually stuff is pretty good and this stuff I think was only $7.99 and because um, my store was having a sale on this I got the shampoo, the conditioner and this and I think I believe I got $3 off so you might as well say I probably spent a total of $15 on the three of them. They did have a few hair serums and stuff like that. I just really wanted to try the shampoo and the conditioner with the curling defining goodness just to see if those were even worth me even going on and get the full collection. Now I will say because this is my texture for my Texlex hair um I can't guarantee everybody the same results but for me this stuff is actually pretty good and I do yeah I cannot guarantee everybody will have the same results but this is my results when I did my hair like this with the stuff and it did pretty good so I'm actually gonna probably use this stuff again and it might be become a part of my um, so often wash routine like I do trade off on shampoos and conditioners but I will say the curl defying put, um, pudding why am I having trouble saying pudding today it will be a part of my staple collection now so and I feel like my curls are lightweight and I don't feel like there's a crunch to them so a lot of curl puddings do leave crunches that is like a big 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 pet peeve of mine when to leave a crunch so this one actually leaves them pretty soft and I will say that is a big thing that I look for when I am doing my hair and um so actually my hair is pretty soft so I'm not gonna lie the conditioner probably did do its thing now the only like I said the only thing I don't like about the conditioner is a little bit watery it kind of reminds me of um, Suave the dollar bottle shampoos how watery that conditioner is or is it the Suave or is it the V whatever it is but I like a thicker consistency conditioner because it feels like a thicker one just gets my hair a little bit better for me but it did leave my hair pretty soft so I will say that formula that they have is pretty darn good so now I am actually, you can actually can find these pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Myers, Walgreens, I believe they sell them everywhere. So, but I will say this is a good find and check it out and I hope you guys like my, well I guess you want to say get ready with me, wash my hair, what you want to call it, I don't know, and let me guys know if there's any other shampoos or conditioners you guys want me to try that's out there. And I'm just going to leave you guys with that. And I'm just going to see you guys later. So, take care of my loves. Mwah.